Hey everyone, I'm Joel on the road, and today my UNESCO World Heritage Journey is at the Jewish Quarter and the Basilica of St. Procopius in Trebic, Czech Republic. This is the town of Trebic in Eastern Czech Republic. And there's two parts to the World Heritage listing here. There's the Jewish Quarter and the Basilica of St. Procopius, which you can see behind me. Now, the town itself is a fantastic example of the two religions living side by side, mostly harmoniously, over the centuries. So let's go and have a look around. This is the interior of St. Procopius' Basilica here in Trebic. The original building dates from the 13th century, though in 1468 the town was attacked and the basilica was partly destroyed by an invading army, and it sat in ruins for several centuries until it was restored in the middle of the 18th century to the present state. Now there's some beautiful architecture here. There's the older Romanesque touches with the arched windows and then of course all of the Gothic touches as well with the pointed vaults. It's really, really beautiful. Now this is a fascinating detail because you can see on the wall behind me each block has a different mark on it, and they're from the stone masons that built the basilica. There's over 600 different markings, and were used so that they knew who had done what bit of work. It was a way of checking quality, and also a way of getting paid. This is the Jewish Quarter here in Trebic, and it's actually one of the best preserved Jewish quarters anywhere in Europe. It was founded alongside the town in the 13th century, but of course the Jews weren't allowed to live in the town proper, so they set up their community across the river. They weren't walled in like they were in many places, but it still wasn't the greatest place to live. What I find fascinating as well is that this is one of the only Jewish uh, World Heritage sites that isn't in Israel. So let's have a look. This is the old synagogue here, and it dates from the 17th century. It is, of course, the centre of the Jewish community. It's not just a religious building, but it's also a centre for education, uh, for community functions as well. Well, this has been a really interesting World Heritage site. A lot of culture here, and it's great to see the religions uh, living side by side as well. It's been a little bit difficult, what with the rain, this beautiful sunshine, howling wind and a little bit of snow as well, but it's all part of the fun I think. But that's it from me, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm Joel on the road and I'll see you at the next World Heritage Site.